What's up everyone, I'm David from On The Room Again and today I'm going to be installing the Camp Cargo Kitchen from Overland Vehicle Systems but before I do that I want to build a platform that goes in the back of the 4Runner to um, be able to mount that to. I just want a secure mounting spot for it and there's just not a lot of mounting areas in the back of the 4Runner. There are four tie down points in the back so I'll probably utilize those um, and make some brackets that come off the plywood um, to bolt to. So anyways that's my plan and uh, let's get to it. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from end to end and then from that end to here. I know that the Camp Cargo uh, kitchen's about 36 inches long, um, so it's going to stop probably around somewhere here. So I just want that plywood to come by or come past this and kind of set on this edge here. And then I don't want it, you know, I'm just going to stop it here. But those are the four uh, mounting locations where I'm going to be uh, making brackets that will attach to the plywood um, to hold it down. Because when All right, so I know that it's uh, 41 by 35. So I'm just gonna mark uh, 35 here. Come over to this side. Mark 35 here. I like to use a string line. You could use whatever you want, a straight edge. Put that there. And then snap that that line there. So I'll cut that one there. And then we'll mark our 41 there. 41 here. Snap that line. And we're ready to cut. All right. Well, there, now there's our uh, our piece there. Um, now I'll clean it up, and then we're gonna uh, carpet it. I've got some spray adhesive, so we'll cut the carpet, and then apply the spray adhesive, and then wrap the carpet around it. All right. So I got some carpet here. Nothing special. Just some basically like speaker speaker carpet. And when you build a you know like a speaker box, but I'm gonna roll this out. Give myself a little extra here on the edge. And luckily my, my piece my piece worked out pretty good to where um, I won't I won't have a seam here, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so roll this out, give myself a little extra there, a little extra here, and I'm just gonna cut it. So this is the spray adhesive that I bought. I got it at Home Depot. Um, I'm just gonna spray it on there, take this off. Uh, set this over here for now. And uh, so basically what I'll do is I'll just, I'll spray it on there and then I'll let it kind of tack up a little bit. It seems to, uh, it gets a little stickier if you let it sit for a minute and then I'll apply the carpet to that and kind of uh, spread it out. All right. Let's spray it on there. Kind of give it a little shake. All right, so I put that on there uh, nice and thick. Uh, hit the edges because I'm going to wrap it a little bit. I have to cut it, but cut the corners. So, yeah, it looks like it's getting pretty tacky. Go around, hit the edges one more time. All right. Now let's apply the carpet.
Okay, so I'm just going to kind of start from the middle and uh, kind of work my way out that way. Looks like it's going on pretty good. Nice and tacky. Um, I am putting uh, some angle iron, uh, it's like C-channel aluminum around the edges, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, not folding over all the way. If you guys aren't doing that, I would probably give yourself a little extra on the end so you can wrap it really well. Um, there's a little couple spots here. It's not. It doesn't seem like it wants to stick. So I'm just gonna fill this back. Maybe spray the back of the carpet here. Really good. Lay that back down. There we go. That's better. All right, another spot here. There we go. That looks better. Cool. It's working out pretty good. Pull this over. All right. That looks pretty good, guys. All right, now let's put that uh, that C channel on there, that aluminum. So here's the the C channel aluminum I I got. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's uh the inside diameter is uh, three quarters of an inch, and the plywood is just under three quarters. So this should just go nice right over this thing. It'll slip right over. Might have to get a, a little hammer and tap it on there, but plan is to to cap this here and that'll kind of keep the carpet from you know you know getting wrecked or getting hit and it keeps this you know the whole thing pretty nice because I might take this in and out of the vehicle I don't know or I might just keep it back there it just depends but right, so now I'm gonna apply this metal just gonna tap it on here um, and I'm gonna make uh, this side flush with the outside of the plywood Like that and then I'm gonna grab a speed square and a marker now I'm gonna 45 I want to 45 this corner here so I'm just gonna take that speed square 45 that like that if you can see that so basically, all right, everyone. So I basically got all that aluminum C channel all the way around this. Um, I 45 all the corners uh, the best I could. I'll probably end up uh, taking a file and just kind of cleaning them up a little bit. Now I'm just going to run some uh, some screws in the ends to kind of hold it, and then uh, that platform's done, and then we'll set it in the Forerunner. And then figure out how we're going to make our brackets to hold it down in um, in the back. So I'm just going to drill, uh, pre-drill some holes of uh, where I want to put the screws. Um, and I'll probably just do them like in an orderly fashion around here. And then I'm just going to put these uh, little pan head uh, screws um, in inside those holes to to hold the metal on there. All right, so we got all the metal put around it. Put all the screws all the way around it. Now let's go see if it fits in the forward. All right, so it looks like it fits pretty good. I slid it in there. It's exactly where I wanted it to be. Now I'm going to make a couple brackets to the four mounting uh, locations on the vehicle um, so that we could uh, secure it uh, to the vehicle. 
All right, everyone, here it is. I was waiting for this. It showed up just right now. Uh, I was inside changing. I was kind of cleaning up everything, and here it is, the Overland Vehicle System that we are going to be installing in the back of the 4Runner. We got the platform ready. Um, I'll probably take this off. But anyway, so we got the platform ready, ready to go, and we are going to unbox this Overland Vehicle Systems. Get into it. I'm so excited. It's a box in a box. I think this thing weighs like like 80 pounds. Uh, the UPS driver brought it in on a dolly, so it's a it's a little heavy, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, my old my old setup that I had, and um, I'll post a video right here, uh, kind of what it looked like. Um, it was it was pretty heavy too. These um, these track systems are I think what weigh the most, but other than that, this whole thing's made out of. Um, Aircraft aluminum. All right, let's see what we got in these packages here. Just gonna open these up real quick. We've got some bolts. I'm not sure what those are for. Oh, and then we got, looks like we got some straps. I'm pretty sure that's for uh, strapping it down that way. Or maybe it could be the straps for the uh, actual um, refrigerator itself. Not sure yet. And this thing came pretty quick too. It, was, it only took like a couple days. Uh, probably like I think it was like three or four days. Um, I called them down there and they they were super friendly. Their customer service is great. They always answer the phone. I had a bunch of questions about stuff and um, they were always answering the phone for me. So their customer service is awesome. Um, looks like these are the uh, the tie down adjustable uh, brackets or whatever you want to call them that uh, go inside here. It's probably just. We'll push those down inside the hole, turn them. Sorry, I don't really know how to work them yet, but looks like they go. Oh, there you go. They go like that. So yeah, you could just you know move this wherever you'd like. Push down on here, lift up, slide it over. Anyways, we'll get into that. Um, so there's that. Those it looks like it came with uh, four of them. One, two, three, four. That's about all you need. I'm sure you could probably order more if you were trying to secure other things. Um, and then it looks like we got the, the legs uh, for the feet. So when you pull this thing all the way out, um, there's some legs underneath there you can actually drop down to support the weight. Um, you don't have to put the legs down as long as you're not like, you know, jumping on the thing or leaning on it. But, you know, it is an option, which is super cool. I like that option of having that. You know, just an extra uh, couple. Of I think there's like three legs on there, two on the ends, one in the uh, one in the center. But that's super cool to have that option. So yeah, so there's the unpackaging of that, and then uh, yeah, we'll pull the rest out here in a minute. All right, so I'm probably gonna put it on this side, just because I do have a fridge, um, and I and I actually um, sorry, let me move that for a second. Um, I actually do plug it in. Uh, to the outlets here on the back of the 4Runner um, to power up the uh, Jackery that actually runs my fridge. So I'm going to be able to have it on the side of um, those outlets. I was thinking about putting it over here, but I think I will put it over here. And not only that is the weight of it, um, if I ever go out by myself, I'll, I'll be on this side of the vehicle 
and I'll have the weight on this side of the vehicle and then I can stack other things over here that are lighter weight or you know kind of contribute the weight a little bit um, so that's the plan is to put it on this side and have it pull out this way and you can you can flip flop it whatever which way you want I mean you could even put it in the middle if you want um, that might be an option too but um, I don't think I think I'd run out of space I don't, I don't know if my boxes will fit on the two sides because um, I do take some containers and other stuff but for now I'm gonna put it on this side and I can always move it later if I decide to all right it's the next day but um, so I drilled all the holes that mount um, that on here and how I basically did it was I grabbed a bunch of these from Ace Hardware I'm gonna put those underneath and then I'm gonna run the bolt uh, through the top into it I think that should be plenty I know it's pretty heavy but um, I think it'll hold it and then also for the back here as far as mounting um, the plywood to the the vehicle I just ended up it was like I was trying to I was like this is so simple I'm not gonna make it harder than it needs to be so what I ended up doing was I just bought a couple brackets from Ace like I could have made these but I'll just buy them and some spacers and then I'll show you how I uh, did that I was gonna mount it some here on the corner back corners but I don't really think I need it I think I just needed two far back one so it doesn't lift up so we'll check it out and see how it does all right so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this uh, nut insert thing and it's gonna squish into the plywood and then I have the bolt on the other side and I'll stick it on this end and I'll just tighten it until this thing sandwiches into the wood just like that and we'll do all four of them so just like that guys piece of bracket two bolts one bolt going to the vehicle same thing over there come around here and basically once we set this thing down on here um, the weight will hold it and that way when we pull this thing out it doesn't uh, tip tip forward all right so we got it installed uh, we pulled it out so that we could get to um, the bolts locations to mount it down so that's kind of nice that you can slide this out and uh, bolt it down so we bolted it all down um, it's ready to go now I'm just gonna vacuum up this clean all this up and I'm gonna close it take the legs out and then I'm gonna pull it out and see how everything does see if we get any movement anywhere or if we need to uh, change anything up <clears throat> all right so got it all mounted now we're just gonna open it up and see what it does see if it tips or anything uh, so pull this out even like it's pretty solid pull this out and like I said they said you don't have to use the legs but I probably will use the legs every time um, and then also this is uh, where you put your fridge or your ice chest and then this also pulls out just like I said to get to the bolts and then you could pull this out and access your uh, refrigerator or your ice chest whatever whatever you want to use um, yeah so uh, pretty stoked about it I think it turned out pretty nice um, I might drill a hole in this sink here and make a little drain thing like I said and then I do want to drill a hole right here because I have a um, battery powered faucet um, that I want to mount here so we can wash our hands do dishes whatever we want to do and I'll actually probably hook up to my uh, roto pack up here all right for demonstration purposes I just threw the canyon cooler up here through the grill here so you kind of see um, I don't know if I'll take this with me if I got this grill I don't, I don't know if I really need the wind blocker it's just one more thing to take um, I threw the legs down kind of show you those um, and then I, and then if you need to get to the your refrigerator or your cooler you can so here just like that um, yeah so turned out pretty cool like I said uh, pretty happy with it and then obviously I'll put the straps on here strap down the cooler or the ice or the uh, refrigerator or whatever um, yeah so thanks for watching guys hit that like button